Alright, now back here again and today I've got another inbox review for you and we're going to be looking at Magic Factory's F4U1A2 Corsair. Okay, so this uh, has been out a while now, okay. Uh, what's nice about this, you get two actual kits within this boxing. Uh, you get some footwetch, you get some nice detailed parts and you get some nice schemes. Okay, so without further ado, what we're going to do, we're going to nip over to the overhead and we'll get cracking. So we'll start with the instruction manual. Okay, a nice uh, A4-ish sized uh, booklet. Okay, straight into it, we've got all the usual bump about uh, the health and safety parts. Uh, there's some information there actually on uh, the Corsair, some of the tools you're going to need. We then go on to the sprue map. Uh, some of these there will be two of, okay. And then we go on to the color call out. So we've got AK, Mr. Color, and the Tamiya paint ranges with the names of them all down there. We then move on to the CAD uh, instructions, so CAD type instructions, uh, all in black and white, okay. But we start with some of the uh, control panels uh, and stuff like that looks well, like a uh, an air bottle of some sort moving on to the bulkhead and the foot pedals then on to the seats okay with the photo wedge belts and you can see before i miss it at the top we've got f for you one a and the two okay so you've got the two different versions so you have to make sure you mark it up as you go along uh again f1a to how the rear bulkhead of the cockpit goes together with the seat then getting attached where to place some decals before we move on to the uh instrument cluster for the two different variants then join all this together to get our cockpit and then move on to where to drill out some parts for the side panels. Okay, so again, we've got the different parts from the different sides. We have got the the arrestor hook. Okay, because obviously this is a carrier-based aircraft. Moving on to joining the fuselage halves together and sandwiches together. We then got the panels going on. So we've got over the uh, actual fuel tank, over the part of the engine cowling, uh, the undersurfaces, and I'm assuming there'll be one for the spine just there, okay, which you can just see, and the different types of canopy, so the F, uh, F4U1A, F4 and the two, just as it shows there. mute my laptop we've then got the engine going together and it looks really really comprehensive so you've got your two parts going together the two banks of the cylinders we've got the push rods rings uh, and other control uh, other parts of the engine for then that gets mounted with the spinner uh, central hub okay before it gets mounted onto the fuselage and with this, we can make the wings up or down or folded or closed. So we're moving on to the folded one now. So you can see we actually get uh, some machine guns. So the 50 cals, okay. Uh, the Some of the bullets or rounds, should I say, that go into the chute. So this is a, a belt fed system, as you can see. Then the upper and the lower wings join together. We then move on to having uh, the either open or closed uh, ports and machine gun area. Then putting the control surfaces on. And then these big massive uh, flaps go onto the aircraft. Okay. All the way through before we then mount the fuselage onto the actual wings we've got the 
cowling. Again with the two parts for the cowling flaps open or closed. We then move on to make it folded. So the first one we saw was the wings extended. This is going to wings folded and you can see we get this massive central spar to help us actually do that with the end caps for the folder section. So we've got the lower, the upper parts of wings, the controls surfaces, the folder wings going all the those on and they slot on to the uh, the massive great big spa before then we add some other little uh, parts on the actual aircraft and also we have see these bits here the locking bits to make sure the wings don't fall down before then we move on to the cowling ring again we then move on to the uh, undercarriage legs and wheels uh, weight on wheels with these okay um, got a central hub and tires so that make it a lot easier to paint and then adding all the doors onto the undercarriage main ones tail one putting the tail surfaces on and then we've got a fuel tank or a bomb to add on uh, i like that it says boom instead of bomb uh aerials going added on exhausters going added on um little aerials and then we've got the radar for the two before we look at the big massive propeller okay and then we have got some masking for the actual aircraft before we move on to the color call outs now these are in black and white but there is another couple of sheets which i'm going to show in a minute so we've got uh, 29 212 zero four two and ten so we've got two f four u twos and two f u one a's okay and that's the instrument uh, the instruction manual move on to these big color call outs now so you can see the big a3 color call outs all right Which is really really nice to see so that's 212 that's 10 there for the twos and then we've got the same for one a's both sides first up we have got some masking so the masking uh, is pre-cut and we have some photo etch for the harnesses and some other little bits and pieces just in there then we move on to the uh, plastic sprue bear in mind some of these is going to be two okay so we've got sprue d here all right so so we've got like some of the control surfaces uh, some of the gun areas, uh, the belts, the actual 50 cars themselves. And you can see the exhausts are actually hollowed out. Okay, you could actually go a little bit further, but I don't think it really needs it. No, on the inside, because these bits will sandwich together. Really nice that. Some really nice detail on this spar for the uh, main wings. Also, that's going to be with them extended. Uh, a smaller sprue. Again, uh, these look like they could be some of the doors for the undercarriage or control surfaces. Again, really, really nicely done. Move on to the cockpit, so part uh, sprue M. Uh, some nice rivet detail going round, some nice detail on the cockpit. 
and the rear bulkhead where the seat attaches to. The control uh, instrument panel, okay, and the coning. All right, so we can see some nice dial detail on there. Uh, the instrument coning, it's got some nice recess and uh, raised detail on there. Part of the wing folds. So this one's got the, the wing fold. And again, like I said, it's got the nice detail on there. Uh, these are the end caps for the wings when it's fold, folded. Same with these parts here uh, and these parts as well. So again, some more control surfaces, but again, it's looking really, really nice. Engine cowling, one piece. Okay. Some nice rivet detail on there. Nothing too heavy, really. But yeah, it's looking okay. Then we move on to the uh, wings. So this is the folded section, okay? Uh, as you can see, it's got rivets all over. It's got nice ribbing for the actual uh, fabric uh, part. Uh, upper and lower surface has got the holes for where the gun's in. But I would assume if you're having these up, you probably cover those anyway. Uh, the belly plate with part of the wings and part of the inner wings. Now, this riveting... So it's very nice very nice i have heard that the riveting is not quite in the right place but once it's painted up it should look really nice anyway uh, i don't know how easy it would be to get rid of that and redo it uh, but if you're going to do that you know it's it, whether it's worth actually buying this kit i know it's got more detail but that's again is left up to yourself but overall first impressions it looks really nice now we've got some nice in a wheel well detail just there we have then got the extended wings so again these ones are all extended exactly the same as the folded okay same sort of detail really really high level again with the detail on the in the wheel wells and again it's going to look one plate it's going to look really really nice And then we move on to the engine. Okay, so uh, two parts per bank of cylinders. The only issue really with that is gonna be trying to clean that up, okay? Uh, some nice, really delicate veins actually on the engine and the push rods. Nice weight on wheel. As you can see, we've got the two types and it's all whole okay just gonna have to get rid of the seam line that goes around uh, parts of the spine and belly so you don't have to worry about a seam on those parts uh, undercarriage uh, bulkheads and the undercarriage itself really really nicely delicately done nothing on the other side And then we have more parts of the cockpit. Okay, so some more of the bulkheads places. We've got the bombs and propellers on this sprue. Okay, so again, on these parts, we have some really, really nice detail. Now, I don't know how much you're going to be able to see of these parts, but there are some injection pin marks to be aware of. Uh, we have our side panels, the oxygen bottles, the open and close cowl flaps, fuel tanks, bombs, and a very nice central hub for the engine. Next up is another 
sprue for the engine. So we'll skip that one. We've then got two sprues for the fuselage. So I will probably only do one. Okay, so you can see some really nice rivet detail. Okay, uh, I'm not too sure whether this is actually in the right place or not, but it, in case it'd be something to look at. Uh, but again, once painted, it should look really, really nice. Though I don't know how accurate it is. Okay, these inserts for the the nose over the, that massive fuel tank that I was talking about. And some really nice detail on the fabric parts of this aircraft. So the tails uh, and other parts. Yeah, like I said, that's exactly the same. So we will just put that one to one side. Uh, another one for the bulk, for the cockpit. So again, we'll put that to one side. We've then got this part, which again, it's got some more parts of the cockpit, but it's also got the radome just there, which you can see. And the insert for the rear of the cockpit. Uh, we then have another engine cowling and then we move on to the decals which we'll just open just now and the clear parts which we'll look in just a minute so decals these are cartograph decals okay and you know what's not 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 a lot not to like about cartograph decals okay they look really really spot on really on the ball well i'm outside and then i've opened only one of the clear parts and the clear parts look absolutely fantastic as i would expect the magic factory corsair now, it's a very, very nice kit, don't get me wrong. It's a really, really nice kit. The main issue for me is that the the riveting. Is it in the wrong place? It, well, it is. Uh, am I bothered? Not really, no. Uh, now, there's a couple of ways you can deal with that. You can fill it in and sand it, but if you're going to do that, you might as well get the Tammy one. So, yeah, it's, it swings and roundabouts. For me, it's going to get built, and it's going to get built as is, because it, you know, it's a very, very nice kit, really nice kit. You get two of them, so it's a win for win win for me. Um, so yeah, that's my take on it. Anyway, anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.